Good evening, everybody. I'm Robert, the Daily Trader. It is October 25th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. Tesla is up $11.15 today, 5.28%. He was at 222.40. Post market, we were down by $2.61. Uh, let's look at what we have here on the chart. So, yesterday we had a green candle, but we made a lower low and made a lower high. So, it seemed like we were going to continue below this extension of a downward channel. But lo and behold, this is not what happened today. We should always be ready for a break in resistance. We should always be ready for that. The signal is not ready for the daily chart because on the daily chart, we have stochastic at 26. So daily wise, uh, we don't have enough force in the stock, but the signal was more for the one over chart. So on the one hour chart, so yesterday we had, we did not have stochastic over 60 here at 2.30. We had it on this red candle coming down for the last candle. So theoretically, the signal was right here on this one because we had broken this downward channel. We had a stochastic over 60 and this is all we need. But today we opened a little bit lower. So it's okay to uh, wait for uh, the next day. So we opened a little bit lower and, but then the stock started to go up, up. The first hour was really strong. Let's look at the five minute chart for fun. Yeah. This is the five minute chart today, right here. So nice, strong candle, then a little bit of a pullback, but not much. And then boom, we started going and breaking to 1449 at 940. And then we continue. So coming back on the hourly charts, we broke to 19.40, broke it, and then sat back on it. It's always nice to have a test, a test of the support after we broke a, a resistance. So we tested it at 12.30, we retested it at 1.30, and now we seem to be continuing uh, on a little bit. Now we are going to come close to these, uh, downward resistance that I had in a very pale color because there was no point in looking at them yet. They are representing the angle that we were in right now. So right there. So Tuesday, September 20th and also September 22nd, we had started this very little downward channel here, and then we broke below it and never recovered up to that level. So now we need to take that into consideration. We have possibly these two resistance that we need to break if the stock is to go higher. And we also have this resistance right here at 225.12. So at 225.12, we have not broken that number since October 7th. October 7th, you see it here. I'm going to put it little bit thicker at 225, we could not break 225 since, uh, yeah. since October 7th. So, uh, this is a very important resistance to see if we are going to break it. We are going to have a double whammy here. We are going to have the 225 and then we are going to have this downward resistance and also this one here. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here with the stock. If we come back to the daily chart, so as I mentioned, this is, uh, this is now becoming support. As I mentioned, the stochastic is still at 26 on the daily charts. As I said, we could have a move here. We can have a little bit of a move, but without 360, then we cannot really believe that move uh, much. We also have this uh, horizontal resistance at 242.86 that we need to think about too. So, uh, if we break 225, yes, we could reach 242. And then if we were to break 242, we need to have a good stochastic and it's going to take uh, a lot of candles if they are very strong in order for us to break a stochastic over 60. In terms of RSI, we are at 41, not yet at 50. 
we have a crossover. We have the crossover of the two lines of MACD. This is the first uh, technical sign on the indicators on the daily chart, but the rest is still very red. If you are playing Tesla on the daily chart, then there is not much you have to do right now because we could be going, we could be going up and down like this. And if you are playing on the one hour chart, well, the uh, entry was just uh, right here, either yesterday or uh, even this morning. And then in this case, just be careful about these resistance right here. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you a la prochaine.